Kora. Welcome to Advent. Welcome to the COVID protection framework. Welcome to the traffic light system. I don't think any of us is all that keen on the present setup that we're facing with face masks and COVID passports and limited numbers. But we know these are steps we need to take in order to protect ourselves and our friends during this coronavirus pandemic. I keep saying to people too, to remember that these are short-term measures. We're not going to spend the rest of our lives living like this. I have every confidence that human ingenuity will find ways to address the coronavirus pandemic just as through history, scientists have been able to get rid of polio and tuberculosis, smallpox, measles, and even the common flu, which used to be a killer. So we're invited to try to keep to the protocols of the COVID protection framework during this short time to keep everyone safe. The New Zealand bishops have asked all parishes to try to care for all parishioners. And that involves, that includes those who have been vaccinated and those who have not been able to be vaccinated. If you are able to be vaccinated and haven't been vaccinated yet, please think very seriously about taking that step. But in the meantime, I want to thank parishes for the steps you are taking to support all parishioners. Those who have been vaccinated are able to assemble in gatherings of up to 100. And those who have not been vaccinated or are not able to disclose their, or their status or don't have a COVID passport are able to gather to a maximum of 25 people, and that's for the protection of all. And I do thank you for the steps that you have taken so far. During last week, I was on a Zoom conference with the government department that is supporting places of worship as we respond to the coronavirus pandemic. And they are very grateful for all that you are doing. They, they accept fully that it may take a week or two for systems to begin to run smoothly. They made the point that we're all on a steep learning curve and COVID seems to change its form week by week. And so we too have to respond week by week to new demands. But the, the government uh, support group uh, do want to thank us for what we are doing. I know that many people feel very uncomfortable with the idea of dividing congregations. They say it's not us. And I think we all feel that way. But again, it's a short-term measure to protect especially those who are most fearful or most vulnerable in our community. I know that Christmas this year is probably going to be a little bit messy. For us in Auckland Diocese, we're not sure whether we're going to be at red or whether we're going to be at orange. I doubt that we'll be at green, unfortunately. But having a simple Christmas may not be a bad thing. It can remind us of the simplicity of that first Christmas at Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph, a baby in a manger, a couple of shepherds, and yet the birth in time of the one through whom and for whom all things were made. The maker of the stars and sea become a child on earth for me, as Sir John Betjeman puts it in his Christmas poem. Just to conclude, can I also ask you to keep in your prayers Deacon Mark Napper, 
who on the 18th of December will become the newest priest for our Diocese of Auckland. Mark's ordination has been delayed twice because of the pandemic, but it's going ahead on the 18th of December, whether we're at red or orange or green. So God bless you, Mark, and God bless you all. We belong to a people who for 2,000 years have faced all sorts of obstacles, plagues and persecutions, wars and natural calamities. And yet we've still treasured the great Christmas truth that God so loved the world, he gave his only son. For a people like us, I doubt that a few awkward traffic lights are really going to have too bad an effect on us. I wish you a very blessed Advent journey. May God bless us all.